I'm Bobby. I'm Jeff. And together, we are East, East Coast, Coast Keto. Keto. We have a quick and easy pizza crust for you today. One of the most important things for the pizza crust is make sure you put all your dry ingredients and mix them in first. So while I get this mixed in, Jeff is going to tell you what is in that bowl. So in there, in, in the bowl was almond flour and the thing here was a teaspoon and a half of baking soda and a teaspoon and a half of uh, cream of tartar, which is essentially the equivalent of baking powder, cleaner version, um, and three quarters a tisp of xanthan, xanthan. Gum, which holds it all in together. Yep. So once all this is mixed now, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it into my shredded mozzarella, mozzarella cheese. cheese. Now, you need to make sure that your mozzarella cheese is not the pre-shredded. Not the pre-shredded. That stuff so is garbage. So I'm going to mix this up here now, and the first little bit I will do with the whisk, but I'm going to quickly put that out of the way. And Get your hands in there. What I need to do is I need to make sure that all of this is covered in that dry mixture. Once we get that done, we go fast into the... Do you want to take over here, Mr. Jeff? Sure. All right, so after that, we're going to go in with four eggs. Now, this recipe makes three crusts. We ordered one, two, three, four. Oh my God, they're cold. They are cold. <laughs> so um, we're going to be focusing on doing one crust today. The other two crusts we're going to take and we're going to put on standby for... Takeout night. Takeout night, exactly. Take it out of the freezer. So we're going to keep mixing this until this all comes together. We'll come back after letting it rest for around five minutes or so. In that five minutes is when the xanthan gum and all the ingredients kind of sets and holds everything together. So we'll be, back. we'll be back in around five minutes when we can start probing that crust for you. Stay tuned. We've got our dough divided into three balls. We've waited around five minutes. What I'm gonna do next, you can just use a regular piece of parchment paper, but I use the pre-made rounds. And all I'm doing is I'm using my hands to kind of press this down. And as I go around, you can see I'm using this hand right here to act as a guide. And that is really the big secret in making sure this crust is nice and smooth on the edges. So you just keep working around until you have all the dough pushed out. I'll go right to the edges on these knowing that when this is finally done, it's going to come out just a little tiny bit. So I'll keep pressing this, after which we're going to take our three pizza crusts, we're going to put them in the oven, we're going to cook them for 10 minutes, and then flip. We'll come back to you at that time. Our pizza crust is ready. Look at that. That's gorgeous. So one of the tips that we've learned since we started this keto pizza is instead of using tomato sauce, we'll use real fresh tomatoes sliced really thin. Super thin, dried out on some paper towel. And when you dry it out like that, it gives you the flavor of the tomato sauce without giving you all that extra goopy sauce and making your pizza um, too moist. Moist. <laughs> Um, we also have some of our Italian spices here that comes from our cookbook. Back it's of the book. Back of the book, flavor profiles. So we're going to put some of that on there. Now, you can dress this pizza however you like. Um, for today's purposes, we're just going to put some um, steak pieces on here. We're going to do some steak like and cheese. Steak. Yeah. yeah. And you can do whatever you want. You can do pepperoni. You can do veggie. You know, this is really your pizza to do whatever with what you want. protein source. Um, Buffalo mozzarella. One of the things that we've also learned is because our crust is made with cheese, mozzarella cheese, you don't really need a whole bunch of mozzarella on top. So we just add um, a alternate cheese source on there, like a buffalo mozzarella yeah. or a feta or blue cheese or goat cheese, whatever. What, whatever your jam is. This usually comes in a ball and it's in a container yeah, in brine. Um, mm. Yeah, so yeah. last but not least, we're going to hit it with some salt and pepper. There's our pepper, there is our salt, and we're gonna pop that in the oven and we'll be back and show you a picture of the final product. Our pizza is cooked. We're gonna put a last couple of touches on it. We're gonna drizzle a little tiny bit of olive oil over the top, just because it adds to the decadence. And a little bit of extra healthy fats. Some more pepper, just because we likes it. Splash of salt. And last but not least, we are going to put a little tiny bit of green onion on top of there. Just let it rain down. If you have fresh basil, 
if it's in season, if you have it in, in a, a herb box in your backyard. There we go. Okay. And we are good to go. We get to go eat now. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you later. Bye, folks. Bye.